Hello, this is the Harvest Baptist Church Podcast Fighter Verse Edition. Prepare for podcast. 3, 2, 1. Well, hello, hello, and hello. This is Pastor Keith, and I am back and bringing you our fighter verse for this week. A famous verse, no doubt, but one that maybe we think is for beginners. But the good news isn't for beginners. It's for the whole of our lives. The good news is not just the door that we enter through. It's the whole kingdom. And so it's important that we remember and enjoy and delight in the good news of the gospel. Maybe you've heard me say before that John 3.16 is the popular Bible verse, and the most lonely verses in the whole Bible are John 3.15 and John 3.17. Well, we're going to read them both today, so let's jump right in. John 3.16 says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And then verse 17 says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. As we consider John 3, 16 and 17, some observations. Notice that you can break this down into a number of different clauses. In verse 16, the first is, For God so loved the world. The second is, is that he gave his only son. The third is that whoever believes in him should not perish. And then the fourth is, but have eternal life. In verse 17, you can break that down into two major thoughts. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. That's the first thought. And then the second thought is, but in order that the world might be saved through him, So as we look through this passage, consider this. First, the scripture text is telling us not that God loves the world so much, like when our kids were little, we used to say, who is so big? And we'd make them uh, wave their arms above their head and we'd train them to do that. It's not that God loves the world so much, but that he loved the world so He loved the world in this particular way. What way? Second clause. He gave his only son. The son goes to the cross to die. Within the context of the Gospel of John, Jesus often speaks about his hour or his time or the time when he'll be glorified. This is what he's speaking about, going to the cross. God gave his only son. Jesus points out that the symbolism in the Old Testament, he's fulfilling it. The symbolism of the serpent being lifted up in the wilderness, John 3, 14 says, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the son of man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. So back in the day when the Israelites were complaining and they, God sent serpents to bite them. And Moses complained and said, save the people. He appealed to God and and God said, make a snake and hang it on a pole and lift it up. And whenever anybody's bit and they look to the serpent, they'll be healed. Jesus is saying that in the same way that he needs to be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Now that lifting is uh, not just being put on a pole so that he can be seen, but being lifted up and going to his death on the cross, and then people being able to to look to him spiritually and receive salvation. What's the purpose? Here's the third clause of verse 16. The purpose is to keep the one who believes from perishing and to give the one who believes eternal life. Now, verse 17, John points out that this isn't a mission of condemnation, that Jesus didn't 
come into the world in order to condemn the world or to sentence the world in punishment. Because as John 3, 36 says, that's a present reality right now. Whoever does not receive the Son, whoever does not believe in the Son is already condemned. Whoever doesn't obey uh, the Son uh, will not be, or whoever doesn't obey the Son is condemned already. But there's a, uh, a believe and obey connection that you can look into on John 3, 36. That's a story for another day. No, what we see in this passage, God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world. No, he sent his Son in order that the world might be saved through him. This is a, a mission of salvation, a rescue mission to bring people out of condemnation and death and to give them life. Well, I hope that you can see the uh, applications and some of the ways that you can use this to fight for your own faith each and every day. Uh, the scripture says that God loves the world. Uh, God loves sinful people. God loves people who struggle. God loves all kinds of people. It says here that God loved the world. Ephesians 2.4 says that God, because of the great love which he had for us, made us alive together with Christ. Because God loved the world, he gave his son. And here is the requirement. Whoever believes should not perish, but have eternal life. This is the escape plan from condemnation. This is the gracious goodness and kindness of God demonstrated for us. And God didn't send Jesus to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved. So I hope that is of help and benefit and by way of reminder to you. I hope it's an encouragement. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, you can turn the podcast off now. Maybe share it on social media or stick around and listen to the copyright notice and the theme song. I love the theme song. And I think I'm just going to include the whole thing every time I make one of these podcasts because it just makes me happy. Why do I have to read a copyright notice? Because the ESV copyright says that the text can be quoted up to 500 verses without express written permission, provided that the verses quoted do not amount to more than half, one half of any one book of the Bible or its equivalent measured in bytes, and provided that the verses quoted do not account for 25% or more of the total text of the work in which they are quoted. So I need to read the copyright notice, and I can't just read the text. I have to say other things and make observations so that uh, there's an additional 75% of content that goes with this. Otherwise, we're violating the copyright. So here's our copyright notice. Scripture quotations are from the ESV Bible. The Holy Bible, English Standard Version, copyright 2001 by Crossway, a publishing ministry of Good News Publishers, used by permission, all rights reserved. Our theme song is Catch It by Coma Media from Pixabay, available at pixabay.com where you can find all kinds of fun songs and other songs by Coma Media. But I like this one. I like it a lot. Have a great day. God bless you.